So friends, till now we have already done a substantial part in Sanvet credit up to rule number three and four also we had done complete. And now all the rules will be done in a sequence. Now before starting rule number five, let me tell you that whenever goods or services are exported, the manufacturer who is exporting the goods or service provider who is providing the services which are exported is entitled for three benefits. Either he can claim refund of sandwich credit or he can claim rebate of excise duty or he can claim duty drawback. Three options are available. You can say benefits for export. First benefit is refund of Senved credit. Second benefit duty drawback. Third benefit rebate. But all three benefits are not available at the same time. The exporter can choose any one. So either he can claim this or this or this because all three things are almost comparable. So it is the exporter who has to decide which benefit he will take. So either refund of credit or duty drawback or rebate. All three are not available. Now coming specifically to rule number five. Rule 5, this talks about refund of Senved credit, refund of Senved credit. Now when the refund is allowed, there are two things, one is refund, another is Senved credit. Refund, two situations. Goods are exported without paying duty. Whenever goods are exported without paying duty, the exporter is required to execute a bond in respect of realization of the export proceeds. So that is obvious that whenever goods are exported without paying duty, there is bound to be a bond. Number two, services are exported right. So two things are there either goods are exported or services are exported. When the goods are said to have been exported, when the goods are sent from India to a place outside India for being delivered there. So it is not only sending the goods from India. The goods are sent from India to a destination outside India for being delivered there at. Then the export is there. When the export of service is there, for that specific parameters are already given under rule number 6A of the service tax rules and if all the parameters are satisfied, then only there is export of service. So in these two situations, a refund is available. Right? Now refund of Senved credit. Now we know that Senved credit is available in respect of capital goods. In respect of inputs. And in respect of input services. Three things are there. But as per rule number 5, this is never available in cash. So either rule 5 or any other rule as far as Senved credit rules are concerned, Senved credit in respect of capital goods is never refundable in cash. So this rule says if the goods are exported or services are exported, then the Senved credit availed by the exporter in relation to inputs and input services used in these goods or in providing the services that is refundable in cash. That is refundable in 
cash. Listen it again. If goods are exported or services are exported, the exporter is entitled for the refund of Senvet credit in cash and that, that Senvet credit is only in respect of input and input services. This is refundable, this is refundable. As far as Senvet credit on capital goods is concerned, that is not refundable. But how much amount will be refunded for that a formula has been prescribed in rule number 5. Now, how, the, how much amount is refundable? For that, the formula says, this says refund amount. <laughs> refund amount is equal to export turnover of goods and services divided by total turnover and multiplied by net senvet credit so formula given here in refund amount is equal to export turnover of the goods and services divided by total turnover multiplied by net senvet credit but every word has been explained in the rule refund amount this is maximum amount refundable maximum amount refundable so now your question will be here we are talking about the refund amount and here it is defined the maximum amount refundable friends this is the definition for this word refund amount so maximum amount that is refundable will be calculated as per this formula provided a CC is having that much credit. If that much credit is not available, so either credit available or the amount computed as per this formula, whichever is less, only that much amount will be refunded. So amount of credit in respect of input and input services, if it is less than this amount, then that is refundable. And if this amount is less, then this is refundable. So you can say whichever is less, either credit or amount computed as per this formula, whichever is less. Right. Uh, now we will talk about export turnover. Now export turnover, this turnover, first oh. of all, let us take only the value. What is the value? Accessible value of the goods. So only accessible value will be computed. And in addition to value, we also have to understand that we will take the value of the goods or services which are actually exported during that period. And the period for which refund is claimed, that is called as relevant period. Right. So here we have not defined for which period. Here also we have not defined which period. This is called the relevant period. So whatever be the period, whether this is 15 days or month or quarter or half year, whatever be the period, that will be called as relevant period. So during that relevant period, what is the value of the goods or services exported and what is the total turnover during that period? So here again in the turnover, we will take only value. Now something very important. When we take value of goods, value of goods. So here we have to con understand actually exported, actually exported during relevant period actually exported during relevant period. It means, suppose I am calculating the amount of the refund for the month of April 17. Now quite possible the goods are exported in the month of April 17 for which the payment was received in advance in the month of March 17. In March 17 payment was received but goods are exported in the month of April. Then it will be calculated here. It will be considered as goods exported during the month of April. Otherwise example, goods are exported in the month of April, but payment is not received in April, still the value of the goods will be computed here. 
same is about the services right so services actually exported during that period irrespective of when the payment was received right so if, when you read the explanation given you will find that the any of the services provided during that period for which payment was received in advance then services which are provided during the relevant period plus payment is also received in the relevant period excluding the amount of payment received for in advance for which services have not been provided so effectively what does it mean we are considering the value of the services which are actually provided during that period irrespective of whether payment is received during that period or not and now total turnover this is export as well as dta everything taken together that is called as total turnover now what is the meaning of net send wet credit net send wet credit that is credit of input and input services taken during relevant period minus any any reversal made under rule number 35c so rule number 35c we have already done in detail that talks about if any remission of duty is allowed under rule number 21 of the central excise rule then send wet credit availed on input and input services during that in relation to those goods shall be reversed so net credit means the credit availed on input and input services during that relevant period for which refund is claimed right minus any amount of credit which has been which has been reversed under rule number 35c so net send wet credit net send wet credit is equal to credit availed on inputs and input services during relevant period minus any reversal of credit made under rule 35c during relevant period okay so now every word we have defined so for understanding rule number 5 first we talked about refund refund is a kind of incentive given to the manufacturer or provider of service who is exporting the goods without payment of duty or who is exporting the goods without paying service tax so actually it is not incentive but it is lowering the cost by avoiding the taxation which are applicable for dta Send wet credit is refundable only in respect of input and input services. The credit of capital goods is never refundable in cash. So this rule says, if the goods are exported without payment of duty under bond, or services are exported as per rule number 6A of the service tax rules, then the manufacturer or the service provider is eligible for availing the, for availing the refund of send wet credit on input and input services which have been used in relation to the goods or services which are exported but the refund amount is computed as per this formula the refund amount it means maximum amount refundable so either this amount or the credit of on input and input services available in record whichever is uh, less that much will be refundable value of the goods exported during relevant period plus value of the services exported during relevant period so actual export we are not concerned we are not concerned with the payment received whatever payment is received during relevant period that is not the turnover turnover is value of the goods or services which are actually exported during relevant period irrespective of when the payment is received so whether payment is received in advance or payment is received later that is immaterial so whenever goods or services are actually exported during that period only those will be counted in the turnover same is that this 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 thing so here we will consider the value of all the goods and all the services which are removed by the rcc during the relevant period multiplied by net send wet credit so net send wet credit is equal to credit availed on input input services during the relevant period minus any reversal of credit made under rule number 35c during the relevant period so for rule number 35c you turn the pages of your notebook and you will find in detail what is rule number 35c just to give you a reference that is in relation to inputs and in that you will find for under the heading availing the credit the last title was rule number 35c so friend this is rule number 5 of senvet credit rules